G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the classic 10mm pistol. This is a mod weapon added by the Creation Club Tunnel Snakes rule thing, and yeah, it is basically a recreation of the Fallout 1 10mm pistol, so yeah, obviously it's classic. So the thing looks like a revolver, but it's actually not, it's actually mag fed, and you can see the mag just under the handle there, so it operates pretty much like a 10mm pistol, and it's even got the 10mm pistol animations. Anyway, getting into the attachments, first of all, for the receivers, we'll chuck this all the way up to advanced receiver. Interesting how there's no uh, automatic versions of these, so yeah, you're stuck with semi-auto with this weapon, so that might be a plus or minus, um, depending on what you think. So for the barrels, we'll go for the long and ported barrel, and yeah, there's a little bit of more customization here, pretty much what you'd find on the 10mm uh, pistol, with the exception of all the light ones. Anyway. For the grips, we'll go for the survivor's grip there for superior recoil and hit by accuracy. Nothing too much to say about that, other than it looks rather uncomfortable. Anyways, next up we've got the magazines. We'll chuck on that large quick eject for best uh, reload speed and uh, bullets in a mag. And for the sights here, we've got the glow sights or the standards, which are fine. And then with the uh, reflex sights here, you've got this uh, little mounting there, so yeah, unlike the regular 10mm pistol, this thing isn't quite as supposed to be modular, so you have to get this whole sort of frame to mount the thing onto that, and same with the scope there. But that uh, the frame mounting there looks absolutely brilliant, so I don't really care. And for the attachments for the muzzle, we've got the muzzle brake or a suppressor. Obviously we're going to go for a suppressor here, and look at that, that is a strange looking suppressor indeed. And of course we get a legendary effect if we need it, but we're doing 184 damage with this thing so I think we should be fine without it. Righto, let's get into Gunner's Plaza then. Okay, here we are in Gunner's Plaza with our classic 10mm pistol, and for the reloads, yeah, that's obviously 10mm animation, so case closed on that. Let's get stuck into these gunners, so we'll just uh, go around the corner here and start stealth critting them until they die, which is generally what I usually do here. And yeah, it looks like we're doing pretty good damage so far. This thing has custom sounds, which is good. Uh, getting sick of hearing that 10mm sound from the base game, so it's a nice thing to have a little bit more of a uh, uh, original sound there. And uh, relatively the same sort of damage output as the 10mm, but a little bit more actually, so definitely doing well so far. Um, the uh, recoil pattern on it is fairly noticeable, it's not kicking or anything, you can just basically hold the um, reticule where you need it to be, and it won't kick around, so that's fine. It looks brilliant in your hands there, so um, whoever the modded is, and I'll probably link them or just give them a shout out somewhere, um, yeah, the, it, the model definitely looks really good and the textures are good, and the speculars are all gleaming around, so made this classic uh, weapon very, very shiny and new indeed, which is nice. Alright, we'll just get stuck into these gunners here, and see how many sneak attack criticals we can nail before we get caught. Got the commander there, this place is officially cleared. But we've, we know we've still got a little bit more work to do. We'll knock out that gunner there. Wow, we haven't aggroed the rest of them yet. Interesting enough. Uh, we'll go ahead and try to seek them out. There's one there. With one shot to the head, we can kill them in one. So definitely a great stealth pistol if you've got the... Uh, uh, the accuracy and the patience to use it that way, and it might even be better than the Deliverer itself, so that's an interesting little thing there. Anyways, looks like we're about almost done here. I've got a legendary gunner here, and this weapon is so silent that even when it was just I was destroying the gunners in the main room there, these guys didn't show up, which they usually do, which is interesting. With two shots there, we managed to knock those uh, gals out pretty quickly, and if I could just get a shot on you, down you go. One more legendary gunner, I believe, and then that last turret should be the last thing in here. So without the sneak attack criticals, you can't get them one shot in the head, but we're still... Okay, we're in danger now, so that's fine. Still doing pretty good damage. These guys are known to be very, very tanky, if you've seen in my previous videos, so yeah, this thing is performing just fine. I think I missed someone though. Okay, that's fine. They've got an irradiated gorse rifle, and I'll just go ahead and spam the trigger and see. Yeah, this thing fires pretty fast, around about the same speed as you would find a regular advanced 10mm pistol anyway, so very, very good weapon indeed, and that is Gunner's Plaza almost cleared with it. I thought I killed this turret at the start, but I obviously didn't, so we'll just slip around here and kill it with a sneak attack crit, and there's Gunner's Plaza 
cleared. And it wasn't in a good run there, so definitely impressed with this Creation Club weapon. Looks like they've actually done well with it this time. I probably won't need to patch this at all, so yeah, impressed with it. We'll move on to Swan and see what it can do there. Righto, before we take on Swans with my fan running, I apologize if that annoys you. Um, yeah, we'll take a quick look at the Vault Suit here. So this is just a Tunnel Snakes costume there with the leather jacket on top of the uh, old Fallout 3 jumpsuit. And that raises the question whether the uh, jumpsuits were designed differently according to whatever vaults, because obviously this is not the skin tight vault suit we usually see. And, at the, and they're the same, it raises questions about the 10mm pistol and how um, this thing is not a retcon, of, or the 10mm pistol that you find in the game is not a retcon of the uh, this weapon, rather it's a different weapon altogether, which is rather interesting. Anyways, we'll just get stuck into Swan here. And it's it's strange when they do this, because you're not quite sure if it's canon or not. I guess it's not because it's a mod, but uh, it's nice to see some sort of classic weapons back in the sense of uh, an official sense. So, yeah, that's an interesting thing. Uh, we're killing Swan pretty easily here. As you can tell, we get an absolute ton of shots and vats, which is good. So even though you don't have the vats and hands effect like the Deliverer, you can still do a lot of uh, damage in vats. So, yeah, this thing might actually obsolete it, I reckon. So that's quite an interesting thing. Although its inability to go auto might be a little bit of a problem for someone. Uh, some people, I suppose, so maybe I could come back and make a patch where I could add a bunch of uh, automatic receivers on it, we'll see. But there you have it, there was the 10mm, uh, the classic 10mm against one there, and we kicked his ass as usual with gratuitous sneak attack criticals. We'll move on to another monster. Righto, the next monster we'll be taking on is a giant Deathclaw over here. So I've just added the Furious effect to this weapon just to give it a little bit more sting once we get detected so it won't take ages to kill the bastard. Let's get stuck into him right away and see what we can do. And already we're already losing out on sneak attack criticals because Deathclaws are pretty perceptive. So we'll just fall back to these rocks and see if we can't kill a few of the other Deathclaws maybe. Alright, so now that he knows we're here, he's going to quickly run away, so I suppose this is the time where we go ahead and start killing some of the other Mythic Deathclaws, and look at all those VAT shots. That's, I think that's actually maxed it out there, so that's interesting. And whilst we're shooting at that Deathclaw, we'll go ahead and uh, bring our crits back. Got a full bar now, full five crits ready to go, and a couple more action points to spare. I think we can use the extra little bit of damage from our uh, Furious effect to get a little bit more damage there. No, I don't think that's possible. Sometimes it happens. I've actually hit like a dude for 36,000 after doing a good solid stack of Furious damage, which is interesting. Anyway, got him with the sneak attack crits now, so hopefully we're doing quite a bit more damage to him. Can't actually see his health bar because I think we're hitting him from too far out. So we're probably not doing that great of damage anyway. So it's best to move forward. Okay, there's a mythic over there. I'll just go ahead and shoot him. Don't have to worry about removing the stacks from the big one because it's going to take a lot more shooting to uh, actually hold up that damage. Anyway, we've got a hostile bush there in the form of a mythic deathclaw, so we'll just sit there and take him out. And there's another deathclaw over there that we should probably kill, I reckon. So now, oh, he's mutated, which means that would imply that we're actually doing a heap of damage on him, which is good. Um, so this thing looks like it can reach out, which is interesting. So maybe it's, it's sort of meta. But the question is whether this thing actually does do enough damage to overtake the vanilla weapons that are already in this game. Obviously, we've got the top dog vanilla weapons, or uh, not vanilla weapons, but our weapons in this game being the uh, for the handguns. It's obviously the Western Revolver, and this thing, it does a little bit more damage than the 10mm pistols, so it's immediately above that. But it has a little bit less versatility, but I'm wondering whether this thing is actually statistically better than the uh, Western Revolver once it comes down to it because it'd make a little bit more sense adding a little bit more of a powerful weapon in at this stage of its life cycle. I mean, I guess it's already dead already, but whoops, didn't mean to do that. But yeah, I think oh, there's a bit of victory music. Yeah, but I think this could be actually a contender for the best pistol in the game now that it is added in on an official sense. Anyway, we'll go ahead and go to, uh, let's say, here in Quincy. 
So now I've got this thing fitted with a scope and an instigating effect. Now I think this is probably one of the ways you can actually run this uh, pretty well because obviously you've got all this power with the weapon as you can tell with all of the Gunners Plaza one shots that we got with sneak attack criticals. Didn't quite get him unfortunately but now he's dead. So yeah I think this is a pretty pretty good way to run this actually so all you need to do is sort of scope out your enemies and take them out with sneak attack criticals this legendary gunner says he's going to die in one shot we'll see we're gonna miss good job all right we'll just crit him this time there we go one shot at him that time i think uh the bullets are a little bit glitchy in there all right so that one's got a stealth boy happening so can't get a uh pacify on him so we'll just get him with sneak attack criticals and you know what we'll go down this way this time got another captain there we'll go ahead and crit him down he goes in one shot and yeah um, when you factor stealth into the equation I actually do think this is better than the western revolver obviously because you can put a suppressor on this thing and yeah suppressors are almost entirely useful to, for any situation really there's no reason why you wouldn't want to put it on a suppressor most of the time anyway now we've got all these dudes aggroed they should be nice and easy to find looks like we've got another captain here i think he's detected us because we aren't getting those sneak attack criticals but even without the sneak attack criticals helping out with the instigating effect we can still do a pretty good uh, amount of damage to them so that's nice got another captain there he is going to die to a crit Suffering with a little bit of accuracy here, so not as great as a long-range weapon as you would a rifle, but that's understandable. It's only a pistol with a uh, small sort of barrel on it. All right, next up goes this assault truck dominator. I think it detected me. Yep, it turned on its uh, cloak. So yeah, I'll be seeing that thing in a bit. And now we're in danger, so we won't get any sneak attack uh, criticals anymore. But as you can tell there, once you've scoped in and lined them up, you can actually do really well. And thanks to the reef on scope there we can sort of pre-peak or pre-fire that assault run running around the corner there so a little bit more utility from the recon scope but obviously that's a vanilla game thing so nothing much to say about that now using this thing with a scope still lets you a pretty decent amount of action points per bat shot enough to sort of uh nail that gunner after a few long sort of shots anyway let's jump down here and kill this bloke in close quarters this thing does pretty well too obviously because you've got the thing you can fire it very fast with that advanced receiver so everything about this weapon is working very very well including all of its aesthetic things so all in all i'm actually very pre uh, pleased with this weapon which is great because i wasn't expecting something this uh, great to come out of uh, creation club although the uh, price tag on it may be off-putting to some people this thing would probably be better served if it was free but yeah it's a nice little weapon if you have that a little bit of extra coin to spend on it i suppose but uh, we'll go ahead and stick attack crit this bloke here he dies in one even though i didn't shoot him in the head so there you go that's a testament to this thing's power and now we can go ahead and finish off the blokes on the bridge righto Obviously, there's that captain there. You can die by a crit. Nice cinematic shot. And I saw another one getting up. They're behind that van, so they'll be in an alert state. Hopefully, we can still nail a sneak, a sneak attack crit on them. We shall see. Okay, looks like they don't have a stealth boy on them, so they can die in vats. Very good. And now we're ever close to, to being detected. We'll just go ahead and take out this dude who's looting from his own team. And he goes down. Looks like the only one left to kill is probably that commander and the guy that's sitting all the way back there who usually doesn't give a crap about all the fighting. Now, this guy hasn't gotten his power armor yet, so my last critical will be towards killing him in one shot. And there's the bloke who stands there doing nothing. He's in some sort of uh, aggro state because he's got his weapon drawn. And there we go, managed to get him from there. So, all in all, it's a very, very solid weapon mod. And the para mod is nice too, even though it, you can't actually customize it. And there's a better look at that tunnel snakes thing. So, yeah, pretty good stuff all around. And the quest mod was pretty fun. If you'd like to see me play through that, link will be in the description. As it was, as this video was in the link, uh, the description for that one. So, hope to see you there. Be sure to tell me what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching, guys.